Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's first time user experience. So this is where we play a game, um, go through the first time user experience, effectively the tutorial and the kind of opening user um, interface experience, the flow, that kind of stuff. So let's kick the game off, start our stopwatch, normally play for about 10 minutes. So as we can see, the game we're playing today is Mobile Strike. So this is um, the new game from uh, Machine Zone. Actually, it's Machine Zone has been a bit secretive. It's actually a company called um, Epic War, which is um, actually owned by Machine Zone. Obviously, Machine Zone are best known for Game of War. So immediately, it's asked us if we want to have push notifications. Um, normally, I find that a bit intrusive, really, because if you're playing a game, people probably don't want push notifications. Most people don't, I don't think. So you almost want to experience the game first or get a good reason why you want to. So I've said not said anything there, and it's presumably... Um, Defaulted to off. Um, no, don't want that. No, don't want push notifications. So, immediately, um, this is a game that has been in soft launch for a long time in a couple of territories, so they've had a long time to uh, kind of hone this. So, immediately, um, Hannah General, I'll be your guide. Typical um, attractive young lady who's going to teach me how to be a general. Um, so, as we can see, very obvious kind of, you know, like idiot proof, even for me, maybe. Arrows, how to build a farm. It's kind of interesting that we're an army general and we're building a farm as the first thing in the game. It's a bit odd, but um, these games are very resource heavy in terms of soft resources. So as we go through, we see the gold one, there's a farm, there's an oil one, there's a quarry, so there's stone, oil, food, gold. These are things that um, we're going to spend a lot of time on. This is a game, if it's like Game of War, that will be very, it looks to be like Game of War, very menu based, very resource heavy, um, and uh, very alliance heavy or alliance focused. So it's saying, we're building this building, we can do it for free, speed up, kind of typical thing you'd see. Obviously, later on in the game, they'll want us to spend money or resources um, to do that, but at the moment, it's going to get us into the mood of getting all this stuff for free. Okay, so upgrade my HQ, increase my power. My HQ looks really rubbish. <coughs> so here we go. You can see it's kind of like um, shadowing out the screen, really f forcing me to, um, this is the thing you, you're, you should be doing. There again, the free thing. So you can see, kind of a, from a very base psychological kind of situation, it's do this. Um, this is speed it up for free. It's kind of getting me into a loop, which um, won't always be free, of course. But nothing wrong with that. Uh, so I've got an item. I don't know what items are. So it's telling me to do this. This is the store. These are my items. Yeah, I've got some crate. What are crates? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what a crate is. But I'm going to use one. I don't know what that is, that's going to take me back to my base, presumably. Great job. See, I've got a reward already. I'm a good general. Yeah. So, base mission I've done. Um, generous rewards. Oh, so, nope. I don't even know what I'm tapping and it's just doing stuff. Congratulations, I've survived basic training. Well, that is pretty basic training. So it's telling me I've got 24 hours of protection on my base before I get attacked by other people. Pretty standard for these kind of games going to continue. Um, is it going to continue? Okay. So as we can see here, um, there's kind of a lot of stuff. It's a very busy screen. So, oh, okay. I'm not going to get a chance to look at the screen. I'm going to build an oil well. So as we said before, had the farm. Now we're going to have the oil well. So probably a similar process. Just going to tap, tap, tap. Oh, oh, free. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. So um, there is an argument about whether kind of this kind of hand holding through a tutorial is actually good because uh, no one's really reading this text; they're just pressing on it. Um, and actually, when these tutorials end, you can feel a bit like, "What did I just do? What should I do now?" Um, and that can be actually quite bad for attention. But given that um, Game of War has been massively successful and Machine Zone has had this game in soft launch for a long time, we assume they know what they're doing. Probably because these games are so highly monetized for a certain type of player. They kind of want to hone their tutorial to get rid of players who really aren't interested in this game straight away because they don't bother with them. They want people who are prepared to at least be in an alliance, which is what it's trying to make me do now, or pay a lot of money, ideally both. Um, so immediately it's trying to get me into an alliance. That's quite a difficult um, thing. That's what all developers would want people in their games to do, jo join an alliance, a guild, whatever you call them, because that really makes it um, the game much stickier. Obviously you've got, whether they're your fr friends in real life or just your friends in the game, um, that's kind of helpful, keeps them playing for longer, it makes them more likely to pay. Um, 
so she's telling me all this great stuff about alliances. But obviously the weird thing is, so I'm getting it again. If I join an alliance, I get 500 gold. I've only got 100 at the moment. You know, I get help. I get help with my times from the alliance. And actually, the alliance structure in Game of War, I presume in this game as well, is very deep and very powerful. And any time I buy something, my alliance kind of um, members also get it. So it really does drive monetization in a way we still haven't seen in lots of other games, certainly in the West. Access to bonus alliance missions, free gifts, and all that kind of stuff. So, but then the problem you always have with alliances is when you join, what am I going to join? So, I don't know anything about this game really, apart from I've tapped on some things. I can join the surviving, the, the S S H S N S N S S, the brawlers, the, I mean, just meaningless. So, I'm going to come out of that, I'm not going to join alliance at this point. Um, now I can see, I mean, you can see this game is graphically is not really anything to write home about. It's a 2D game. Oh, right, okay, not going to get a chance to look at it again. So if you can see the pace, it's really driving me. It's really driving me to do these things. Um, I'm kind of five minutes into the game, and I'm just going through this heavy menu system, um, which is the game. I mean, this is what you do in the game. You're kind of updating stuff, um, getting resources. And the, the kind of gameplay really comes from the Alliance system. So I'm going to, I'm researching scouting. You also notice there's not really any music in this at all. It's not, it's not a kind of um, a very deep graphical or, or audio experience. I'm going to collect rewards. Oh, that's from probably from completing mission. I've completed the base mission. Okay, so this thing I can collect because I built an oil well. Okay, I've leveled up. Lovely. Um, can I collect that one? Yeah. And can I collect these ones? I'm getting the hang of collecting things. You can see it's kind of taking a bit of time, so it's a heavy kind of database, heavy um, online game in terms of the, the data is not a heavy amount, but it's um, almost like an MMORG, really, yeah, MMORPG. Um, okay, so immediately, not, I've not popped on this, but immediately it's telling me there's a sale going on here, so double gold sale, if I spend four pounds, I can get 1,200 gold. So, and that was a limited edition one. You can just see if you get a chance here. But on the menu, there's kind of stuff bouncing around. There's, there's, you know, there's, this thing's ending, this thing's, I don't know what that is, that's ending as well. It's got a timer on it. Oh, but no, I haven't got time. Got to go and build a quarry. Yeah, just this relentless pace, really. Um, and it is, um, you know, this is a very specific type of game. It's not a game that many developers perhaps would want to make, um, or perhaps um, would be necessarily very good at making, because it is very driven um, and not in a traditional gameplay mechanic. Um, build an iron mine, build a mine. Free, yeah, yeah. Iron's a key element, it's all key, isn't it? Um, so my, these scouting guys are researching. This is a VOP thing up here, so VOP systems are very important for the long term um, oh, situation in this game where you can get different kind of um, different resources, different kind of bonus stuff effectively, and also different missions. So VIP is very important for these type of games. It's more like a, a subscription thing, you pay VIP kind of thing, that would maybe for a month or something, so it's another monetization method. Um, okay, I've got a bank. So, and it's interesting, so this is, this is called Mobile Strike. I suppose it's about building a, a, you know, an, an army. I'm not, I've not really done anything in terms of armies at all. There's not, there's not been, this could be a game about Building this, it could be a city builder or something, you know. Already eight minutes in now. Um, training ground, so finally, this is like an army thing. Okay, that's free. So now, for the first time, um, I can presumably get some troops. There you go, the weakest troops. I can build some. Excellent, they'll soon be ready, but maybe I have to wait for them properly. Maybe that could be sped up properly. So talking about my power, my power's here, that's a, I've got a level, I'm level 2, my power's this. This is my gold, this is the hard currency, these are all the soft currencies, there's five different soft currencies. Also a VIP thing, obviously, as I mentioned before. Tell me what to do, oh no, it's no, okay, so not getting a chance to think again. Building an armory. So we can just see all this kind of, very quickly, it's getting me into the <laughs> understanding of all the different parts of the game, even if I'm not fully understanding it really. Um, uh, my mission has upgraded my wall. Now, probably if I don't do anything, there we go. It's gonna, it's gonna pop up and tell me to upgrade the wall. So now we're seeing we've built all these things. Now we're into a cycle of upgrading. Uh, 
they're still free. But obviously over time when you get into the game, these things might take certainly hours going on to days to, to upgrade when you get to a certain level. It's all a very time focused thing. It's all um, resource versus time. Remember upgrading my headquarters, I'm gonna go back to my headquarters. That's got me in the loop again. Now I've got a speed up item. So I didn't know what one of those is, but I've seen the speed up thing. Um, so again, it's I don't really can't even see what screen I've gone into, which may not be useful for the future. But I've got one. I've used it. So you have it's interesting. In this game, you have different speed up items that speed things up for different periods of time. So it's a bit different to other games that might use a currency system. Um, this has more item system, which is a, a harder monetization in a way. So there again, I'm gonna oh, my HQ's leveled up. And I've been awarded two 50 minute speed ups. A level four crate. No idea what that is. I know it's used to create before, I've got these resources as well. Um, I've leveled up to level 3. Um, I'm going to upgrade a farm to level 3. So we can just see, so over, te over 10 minutes in now, we can just see the relentless pressure, particularly at the first, the, in the opening part of the game, just getting to do stuff all the time and really taking you through it. In, um, not really that you have any control, but um, certainly making you feel like stuff's happening, there's a lot of stuff to do, um, and giving you, you know, a fairly good flavour of the game, really even if one that, that may um, make maybe a bit off-putting for, for many players. So it's pretty interesting. So Mobile Strike, um, it's already launched um, last week and has done, um, it's already, they spend a lot of money marketing it as, as, as uh, machines own, they have a lot of money. Um, and, uh, but, so it's already in um, top 10 downloading, uh, top 10 most downloaded apps in many countries, certainly top 50 pretty much in every country in the world, I would think that's, that's worth advertising in. And even in some countries, it's already gone into the top 50, top grossing. That's within a week. That's pretty, um, pretty spectacular. That's very, um, very few games that do that kind of muscle. And particularly to know it didn't get any featuring from Apple, which is obviously something that, um, that often um, kind of kickstarts games. Um, and interestingly, the reason it didn't get any of that probably was it came out on Google Play at the same time. So it was a simultaneous launch. They just want to address a very big audience and get people playing it. Um, we'll come back in our monetizer section and have a... A bit of a deeper look at the monetization um, when we played the game a bit more, but um, that was the first time user experience of, um, of Mobile Strike. Pretty interesting stuff. Come back and see what we're uh, what we're playing tomorrow. Catch you then.